The United Kennel Club held their sixth annual competition and show this weekend, and our Mary Keeler got a front row seat to the action. Tails wagging, handlers prancing, and onlookers cheering. That was a scene at the United Kennel Club's dog show this weekend. But what makes a good show dog? Kathy has it down to a science. A good show dog is um, one that's exuberant. Um, one that is wants to be there. One that says, I want this win, along with their handler. Uh, good, besides the structure of the breed, according to the standard of the breed, um, the exuberance of the dog is icing on the cake. It's who wants that? Who who wants that win? And the shows run the gamut too, making sure all categories are included. We have dogs here are showing for uh, titles, championship, grand championship. The show may be in Bemidji, but over 75 dogs were at the event this year, and some were from Missouri, South Dakota, Wisconsin, and even Canada. Well, my neighbor asked me if I wanted to be in it, so I said yes. For 10-year-old Elena, this day was full of new experiences and achievements. It's my first dog show, and I won the reserve best junior handler in multi-breed show and first place for the juniors. And Kathy says that unlike the dog shows you see on TV, it really highlights every dog from the bottom stages on up. The, what you only see on TV is who won and how they got there. We start with, we let we let puppies, three to six months, they don't get points and titles, but we have puppies, and the actual titles will start at their six months of age. So we have puppy class, adult class, uh, lots of different things, and this is how they get to the very end is what you see on TV. Dogs, young and old, big and small, were able to strut their stuff to win the coveted Best in Show title, both on Saturday and Sunday, making for some proud handlers and very happy dogs. In Bemidji, Mary Keeler, Lakeland News. It wasn't just the dogs that traveled across state lines to compete. Judges flew in from New York and Illinois. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.